found that when you handle something for years and years, its intricate details eventually just become second nature. Like typing on a keyboard after a while, you learn where the keys are and you don't need to think about it, you can just kind of touch type. And uh, in a similar way with the cards, there's specific cards that I can locate without really having to think about because I've been handling them for so long um, that they stand out to me. And those cards are the four aces. And this is a true thing. Because the aces have the most minimal amount of ink on them, um, that means that during the manufacturing process they go through the, the kind of minutest amount of um, mechanical impact. And so the actual paperboard is kind of least worn down. And uh, for someone that handles cards, an obsessive card handler like myself, that allows me to actually identify them out from, from the rest of the pack. And it sounds mad and everyone disputes it straight away, but I'm going to try and prove it to you straight away. So this is what we've got, obviously the four aces. I've taken that ahead of time just to save a bit of time. Uh, so the four aces. And before we start, it's important that you know they're completely lost throughout the pack. So I'm just going to spread the cards out and we'll take the spade, the diamond, the club, and the heart, and we'll just lose them throughout the pack. Okay, so nice and fairly. Uh, let's just place two towards the edges and two towards the middle. So you can see very fairly. Do you agree that's fair? Yeah. Four completely different parts of the pack. In fact, Debbie, can you just slide those in? That's great. And as well as placing them in the middle, we're going to shuffle the cards as well. So you know that they really are completely lost throughout the pack. In fact, this is my favourite shuffle. This is where you split the pack in half and then you just weave them together. Just like that. And if that wasn't enough, we will also the cards a few cuts. Just like that. So would you agree that's completely fair? Yep. We took those four aces, you pushed them inside the middle yourself, and the cards have been completely shuffled. But it doesn't really matter where they are, because like I said, because of that pace board, the way it's been treated, I should be able to pick up on where those aces are. That's exactly what I'm going to try and demonstrate for you now. So, I just feel on the path. That's the first one, I think. Yeah, there we go. It's the uh, <laughs> ace of diamonds. And if I cut one card less, or one card more, that would have been a, a miss. A bit of a coincidence there. It's not mm. just a bonus trick here. And let's try and find the next one. Again, I'm just going to reach into the pack. And we do <laughs> second deck. It's close. And again, one card less or one card more. Would have completely missed. Alright. Two more aces to go. It gets a little bit more tricky as there's less aces because there's less for me to actually pick up on the pack. There we go. Just reach into the pack. And I think I slightly rushed that one, sorry. Base. It's going to make it super difficult for me for the last one. I'm going to mix up the cards a little bit. Give a good shuffle. And one more shuffle, just like this. And this is the most difficult one. One last ace to find out what we're looking for. An ace of spades. Okay. Again, I'm just going to feel the cards and I can think. So we're looking for an ace of spades. Should be pretty good, right? <laughs> Let's have a look. Prince Lippy's there. Would you mind having a look at the card I can't see? Brilliant. Thank you so much. The ace of spades. And of course, they're not all aces. They are all completely different. That is genuinely cut into the aces. Thank you. Very good. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.